Hey guys, Frank here. Um, so today, uh, it's around 11.21 right now, and uh, so at 10.57, I actually woke up unexpectedly. Uh, no alarm was set. It was like some kind of banned and restricted Groundhog Day, uh, where I could hope to see my shadow and end six more months of miserable standard. Um, unfortunately, I did not see my shadow today, and woke up. Check the band and restricted announcement. It was the first thing I did because I woke up at 10.57 and I was like, wow, this is really weird that I uh, biologically woke up at this time without any uh, outside assistance. And I can see if cards are banned. And, you know, my uh, primary source of income, playing Magic, making Magic content, uh, I can see if that's going to be enjoyable uh, for the next couple weeks or couple months or, you know, however long. Um, turns out no. The answer was no. Um, I haven't played Standard in weeks. I can't even recall the last time I went to an FNM. and um, I believe it was before Grand Prix New Jersey. And uh, I literally played a couple FNMs just because I wanted to uh, prepare for that, for that event. Um, and it was not great. Uh, literally tapped out one turn uh, playing Black Green counters or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call the deck, and then I lost to Sealy Combo, and that was miserable. And I was like, you know what, this isn't very fun right now. Um, and I just did Magic TV last week, um, it was, I'll get the exact date for you guys, 419 on Channel Fireball with Mashi, and we literally talked about how the uh, Superstars Game Center in California, the store that, that you know, that the Channel Fireball store how their FNM attendance has been dwindling and people are just just not even coming in on Mondays when there's like free prizes like free it's a free standard event and there's prize support for it people just aren't coming in to play standard it's unbelievable and it's blowing my mind that this isn't enough to sway wizards to do something about these cards like Gideon or Heart of Kieran or either one of the Sahili combo pieces like it's mind blowing to me um, as you can see there's no green screen uh, literally just rolled out of bed and I wanted to make this video because I have some some fairly strong feelings about this and um, I just am flabbergasted right now. I'm not looking forward to playing Amonkhet drafts today. I was going to stream Amonkhet drafts. I'm still going to do this. <laughs> uh, just not looking forward to it as much now because one of the thrills was getting to know the format and uh, just learning it inside and out and getting cards for standard and also preparing for the Pro Tour which is in like three weeks and... God, I just don't want to do that right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I just have no desire to go to the Pro Tour right now. And it sucks because I'm qualified and my ticket's booked and all of this. And like, wow, playing on the Pro Tour is such a prestigious magic accomplishment. And I just don't even care right now. Like, I was actually, for a second, I considered whether my ticket was refundable so I can go to a different Pro Tour uh, with a more diverse, healthy standard format. Um, because they're not going to revisit these changes until after the Pro Tour. Apparently, that's what was stated in the article, and if that's the case, if nothing changes, if standard still looks like this at the first SCG Open or the first event uh, that takes place between now and then, it's it's miserable, you know. And 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 people keep saying, well, you know, yeah, you can, you know, these cards are fine. Maybe there's going to be some answers in Amonkhet, and like, okay, so yeah, let's look at the answers. Sure, Ali and Trazi and I have been doing our set review for the past week on Freshly Brewed. We've been going over all the cards and reviewing everything. And uh, the fact is, all of these cards are just not great when cards like a Gideon, uh, Ally of Zendikar, and Heart of Kieran are in the format. And there's, the, and if you're not building to combat those cards, you're losing to a turn four combo that makes infinite cats. Like, I don't understand how Amonkhet is going to change that. Like, there's a sorcery speed four damage spell. There's a sorcery speed hero's downfall. We have Cast Out, which costs 4 mana, which means they get to play Gideon, Ally of Zendikar, make a 2-2, and then you can get rid of it. Or, Heart of Kieran can hit you for 8 damage. Well, if they play it on turn 2, then your turn 2 happens. Then during turn 3, they get to attack you for 4. Then you get turn 3. Then on their turn 4, they get to attack you for 4, then it's your turn 4. So, yeah, I mean, if you can take 8 damage, then you can surely cast out a Heart of Kieran, 100%. Um, and then I've seen threads where people are like, well, you can just play, uh, 
There's a one mana, or two mana, I don't even know, I think it's two mana, uh, green spell that destroys an artifact. Really? I should, I, want, I should play this in my main deck? <laughs> and this is what we're talking about. Like, we have a standard format where, if you look at it, let's look at, like, three of the, the best creatures right now. Scrap Heap Scrounger, Heart of Kieran, and Gideon, right? There's cards like Murder. Murder kills Scrap Heap Scrounger and Heart of Kieran, but not Gideon. And then there's cards like Ruinous Path. Ruinous Path kills Scrap Heap Scrounger and Gideon, but not Heart of Kieran. And there's Grasp of Darkness, and Grasp of Darkness kills Heart of Kieran and Scrap Heap Scrounger, but not Gideon. And it's like, and it's then you have then you have cards like Natural Obsolescence, which kills Scrap Heap Scrounger and Heart of Kieran, but not Gideon. And like, okay, so why can't I just get a card that kills all the creatures? I don't understand. Like, why is this so difficult? And Cast Out gets rid of all three. That's fantastic. I'm all for that. However, unlike any other previous iteration of this card, it costs four mana and not three. But a four four is completely fine. At two mana. And I don't understand it. It's a weird philosophy uh, that's happening right now, and I'm not really fond of it. And no, I've gone through all the cards in Amonkhet uh, with Ali Trazi on Freshly Brewed, and I don't think there are reasonable answers in this set. I don't. <laughs> that's my honest opinion. And I would love to be proven wrong. I would love to see a format that shows up out of nowhere and now has four or five viable decks in standard. I would love it. I would love to see new decks every single week. You know, this is what I thrive on. I love this. This is what's what makes content worth making, is this new innovation and, like, this new experimentation in a format. It's fantastic. I'm also a little discouraged that no cards were unbanned in Modern because the format seems healthy. But what do I know? Um, I guess when you have a healthy format, you don't innovate anymore. You just stop. You just say, that's it. We're done. Um... Which is sad. But <laughs> that's another story. That's another story. Um, regardless, uh, extremely discouraged about Standard. Uh, not looking forward to playing against any... And, like, th those comparisons I made earlier, but, like, you know, this specific removal spell only kills this and this when we have this, this, and this type of, of threat. Um, that doesn't even touch on the Sahili combo where, you know, the... Three mana heroes downfall at sorcery speed. I don't even remember the name of it. To be honest. Never, I think it's called never. And the the other has to be to be returned to is, is returned. I'm not sure, but I think never. Uh, it, that's not going to kill any, either either half if they combo out in one turn. Uh, cut, which is the half of cut to ribbons that deal four damage deals four damage at sorcery speed. That's not going to kill either if they cut tap out in one turn. Uh, so like then you have cards like grasp and murder. But, you know, neither of those cards go Gideon, so it's super awkward. You're forcing all the decks that want to just answer these cards to have to have multiple different kinds of removal and have that exact removal at the right time. Uh, whereas these, these threat decks, all they have to do is play their three and four power cards on turn one, two, three, and four, and... Let you, and then they force you to have the answer. And, and that's how traditional control decks work, right? Like, you have to have the answer uh, to their specific threat, but the problem is, back in the day when that was the case, they would have a 2-1 Jackal Pup. Now they have a 3-2 First Striker that can create a 4-4 Flyer on turn 2. I don't... <sighs> Either way, um, the fact that Wizards can look at the previous... The standard attendance, if they've even looked at that, um, the, you know, the, the social media outcry... For this standard format, and uh, the you know the fact that this format is completely dominated by two decks is and and still say yeah we'll, we'll give it a little more time is is mind blowing to me. I understand they want Amonkhet to come in and shake things up. I would want that as well if I created a brand new set. But the fact is this set was not designed with Battle for Zendikar and Oath of the Gatewatch legal in the format. Those were were meant to have been rotated out previously. Um, so now this format that was not designed in any way, shape, or form to take on any cards from these two sets is meant to take on cards from these two sets. And it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, you know, aside from all that, the fact that they did literally mention that they missed the Sahili combo. Um, so they clearly didn't design cards for that. Uh, but who knows? 
um, I guess I will keep an eye on things. And uh, hopefully if people are actually playing Standard, which I quite honestly might not be one of them. There are plenty of other Magic formats and other games uh, to make content for. Um, if people are actually playing Standard, I will keep an eye on that and hopefully things will change. Uh, I don't hold out hope and I'm not... You know, I understand this is a lot of bemoaning and a lot of uh, negativity. And I apologize for that. Uh, it's it's unfortunate. I don't wish I felt this way, but I do feel like this is kind of a big deal. Um, there were like literally people setting their alarms last night to wake up and check this banned and restricted announcement. And you don't do that if you're super content with a game that you play regularly, right? Like that's just not a thing that happens. Um, I you know there's been countless. Absolutely countless banned and restricted announcements where no one even expected a thing. You know, there's there's times when I'm like, oh, it's the banned and restricted announcement day. Oh yeah, no, no changes. That's what I expected. And that's the feeling you want. You want to have this feeling of like, oh, there was no changes. Not even surprised. Didn't even expect anything. Um, but that's not the case here. The case here is everyone's waking up expecting something to get banned because they love magic and they want to play standard again. And we're not at a place where people can actually love standard which is interesting to me um and this wait and see approach is just real real weird to me i guess um i understand you don't want to have to ban cards um but i think it's even more important than that to make sure people are actually going to your events and right now i have no desire to go to a standard event like my i also have a wait and see approach and it includes me waiting and seeing what people are playing at standard events rather than risking it myself. There are plenty of other things for me to do on a Friday night or on a Saturday um, than go play in a standard event and hope I don't face Mardu vehicles four times, Sahili combo twice, uh, with my homebrew Amonkhet deck. So uh, I would love to have more positive information for you guys, more positive vibes, but I don't have them right now, and I apologize. And uh, I would love to hear what you guys think. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the comments.